Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. I wanna to talk to you about the psychic attacks and emotional confusion. Now, every time, I wanna just kind of back up here. Every time that you might see or read about things such as Mercury retrograde, there's a huge retrograde, the Saturn retrograde. There's some other influences there. And you might say, like, what does that have to do with the tea in China? Well, these are the large influx of energies. These are like ocean currents that push and mold and get things to where they need to be on a larger scale. But ultimately, that means something for your life. Now, a lot of times it can feel like an attack or a psychic attack. Sometimes it can feel like turbulence. It can feel like things are saying things to you. Um, please do not be afraid of this, okay? It can be very confusing to your mind. It can be emotional and confusing. In other words, it can make you feel like crying. It can make you feel sorrow from a deep place. It can make you feel like persecution okay these are the reasons the timelines are collapsing and the garbage is floating to the top okay it's kind of like when a ship goes down and then you know things just kind of float and you're like why am i floating in this water with all this stuff i need to get to safety right so what is a psychic attack it could be people like bearing down on you mentally it could be the hatred that's going around it could be the things that come up in families where you can't help but feel the vibe. Does that make you a super empath? Well, some people like to think that that's their superpower, but I'm like, let's level that up so that your real superpowers are serving you and that things like this don't make you feel like you're going around with armor and being like, I'm ready to be attacked and you're just another person with all their weapons and all of their things. I want you to be able to go through and be like, I'm the force of light and love in the world and you will part ways and you will step aside. I need to go where I'm going. I need to get where I am and they have no confusion about it, right? Now during this kind of energy, this will be like, what are you willing to leave behind? What are you cutting? What are you parting ways with? What's breaking up with you? uh-huh what's breaking up with you or what are you breaking up with and you may feel that you may feel like i just can't do this anymore it's not working for me this marriage isn't working for me this focus on a narcissist isn't working for me right but do you fantasize about that like in other words have you like created all these white picket fences around some narcissist not gonna work okay and i laugh ha, 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 at all that narcissism right because it's very 3d 4d it won't work for you when you embody and embrace and integrate your brand new light body connections for all your relationships do you fantasize and distract yourself well if you're doing that guess what your real other half they're going to do the same thing because you're not focusing and you might say well why is this all on me well if you're watching this you can be responsible and therefore you're responsive and not reactive. That's what I recommend. How can you respond in a proper up-leveled way, a real above board way where you're just not like, that son of a gun needs to get their act together. A lot of people are doing that. M listen, misery loves company, comment sections and forums. You know, those are people that they're commiserating and Honestly, let's take the middle part, miserable. I don't want you to be miserable. I want you to really feel what this is supposed to feel like. I don't want you to get bitter and old. I want you to feel energized and youthful and vibrant and alive because that's how you felt initially. So how do we do this, okay? Are you suffering from some form of depression lack of interest in life well if you are your mood can affect your other half and that was one of the weirdest things about what we call the mirror like what are you reciprocating back and forth if you're in a dull blah, blah mood guess who else will be or if they are 
And I hear a lot of people, you know, why is it my job to be, bring up my twin? Yeah, I want to know how that works. Well, I'm teaching how that works. No, I, I mean, like, how can this be love? Like, right? Like, shouldn't they just come and shouldn't they get it? They're not going to just get it. They need to feel it. Okay, like that song, Wake Me Up Inside. You're waking them up on the inside. And furthermore, do you want to go around in a low mood? I mean, listen, we have our cycles and those can carry a mood and I'm even here to help with that. I know what supplements you should engage in and what works and also what doesn't, okay? Because if you don't care about you, then who? Then when? When are you going to be the change by changing yourself through integration by using your light body? Who will? Okay. Now, I've read for people, uh, their energies, I've healed them. I've been a healer for many, many years. I've been doing this for 15 years. What I will say is this. Here's the weird part that people cannot always pick up on, but I do because I have those much higher connections. Those were hard-won experiences and footholds for me to be able to do this properly and not be an empath, but to feel, I feel things like an echo and then it goes away because I clear myself. I am not bringing other people's stuff into every one session, like those psychic lines. Those are like not really the healthiest. What I do know is this, I can actually feel the real person. Many times they have questions too. They're consulting with psychics or they're going to a healer. I don't know who, I don't know their names, but what I can say is if you're seeking, they're seeking. If you're doing, they're doing by being, okay? They have to be able to feel it through you. So yes, it is on you. It's on you. I even had a situation where someone doubted and doubted and doubted, but I said, please erase stuff from your mind. Let go of what you think you know. Just follow the instructions that the guidance is giving to me for you, okay? And they did, they started getting results. We get results right in when we're doing it. It doesn't happen six months later. It starts happening very immediately. Do you feel like there are too many problems and not enough energy to solve them or prioritize what your problems, like what should you address? What comes first? Well, first and foremost, it should be about you. It should be about what do you need the most, okay? And that's not being needy. If you cannot tell your higher self what it is that you need for that moment, then you need to learn. And yet there's a way where that can begin to be natural for you, okay? Where you're vibing it and then you're attracting it. That's the law of attraction. That's the law of attraction, how it works for twin flames. Because let's say you are same gender body twin flames, okay? That may be certain things, but let's say you're opposite gender twin flames. Well, what works for him and what works for her could be two different things, okay? So are there too many problems, not enough energy? In other words, if you're sitting there overwhelmed and saying, I have all these things, I got a bucket list of problems. I got, I have to empty the bucket. Yes, you do. That's number one. Number two, you need to get some sense and sensibility and your own specific guidance to prioritize. And you need a reconnection, which is your etheric twin to the rescue. Okay, a human being is gonna have their own stuff going on. You're both human. You got human stuff. That's just a given. The majority of people who are on this journey are people who are human beings <laughs> in a physical plane and they are having stuff because at the time you awakened or became aware and activated, you already had stuff. You had a family, you had a boyfriend, you had a girlfriend, you had kids, you have your family of origin, you have your karma and you're like, I got stuff, Patricia. Well, let's prioritize that stuff and get some rescue for you, shall we? So in order to do this, I have group classes starting the 19th. 
If you join that one, I'm going to throw in as a bonus my gratitude class that goes from the 20th through Thanksgiving and yes, on Thanksgiving morning. Do you struggle around the holidays? Yeah, a lot of people, they just do. For the new moon, also being called the 1111 portal, like the whole weekend, is it a long weekend for you? Can you like dig in, all right? Do you need to dig in or do we need to level up, okay? Because there's a lot of deep stuff going on. This is a time for deep stuff, people. Okay, the reason I do these longer videos with the board is so that you can learn. You can watch and learn. Learn more in my groups, in my webinars. They're done on Zoom. I'm also in Chicago and I do stuff live. In fact, we have some live stuff coming up. Coming up for this weekend, coming up for December 5th, we have a free open house with a lot of vendors there. I mean, even people that grow microgreens. It's terrific. These microgreens are delicious. So if you're someone who's wondering, how are people taking their energies, reinventing themselves, and you know, creating a business or something else, come and see it for yourself. And it's free, okay? Sorry, but these are not free. I have a gift and I'm here to teach. I'm like a large scale surgeon who can do this psychic surgery for you and help you and make you better. And I'm a genuine Blu-ray twin flame. And if you don't know what that is, whew, we're like, um, we have these uh, large energies where part of our task is to um, put closure to negative stuff on a larger scale and get people to where they need to be. And it's all about people, okay? It's all about people. We do it in different ways. Blu-rays are not always in the twin flame uh, general uh, area of the public. They are in many, many avenues, such as acting, such as music. And when I say large scale, we're talking many times world class. And there it is. We suffer the same things, persecutions and vilification and people that just don't get us. And, you know, it's a lot. But you know what I do? I just focus on getting rescued each and every day. And it's not always a rescue. Get up into the lovemaking levels, and then you're going to really find out how this is supposed to feel, okay? Get into the energy that is supportive of you, not the old paradigm, which generally is collapsing, and it will not be the footing you can stand on. The rug's being pulled out. It may not feel like a rug's being pulled out. It may make your mind feel weird and your emotions feel weird, so... Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please join. Write me your questions at twinflamereconnection at gmail.com. Thanks so much. Hope to see you there. Okay. Have a good one. Bye now.